Now I am recording. Sorry, we are just starting, all right? Okay, so now I'm going to ¿Estamos share... usando el libro? ¿Mm? ¿Estamos usando el libro? Yes, we are. But at this moment, ah. no. Ah, yeah, yeah. Gracias. All right, so uh, I'm going to share screen right now. Okay, and... Uh, so, no, this is not the one that I want. Yeah, <laughs> in here you have a very good, and this is in your Google Class, right? It's in your Google Class. So you can go and find it in there. In here you have a very good um, uh, um, article in which you can see differences between present simple and present continuous. Yeah, there are something waiting, but I can, let me, yeah, so Martina and Krista. All right, so for example, in there, you have present simple, present continuous. Present simple, you use it for things which are always true. For example, water boils at 100 degrees. But the present continuous, you use it for things which are happening at the moment of speaking. The water is boiling now, so you can put it in the pasta. You can put in the pasta, right? In one, the water boils, that is something that is always true, it's a fact, and present continuous at the moment. Okay? When you talk about the moment, you use present continuous, the structure of the present continuous is B is plus ing, boiling, all right? Now, another situation. You use the present simple to talk about permanent situations or nearly permanent, two for a few years at least. For example, Julie lives in London. But it's a fact, it's a true thing, it's permanent. While, meanwhile, temporary situations. Julie is living in Paris for a few months but she usually lives in London. Or situations which are slowly changing. For example, I'm getting better and better at speaking English. Yeah. So, see, things that are always true, things that, things that are happening at the moment. Permanent situations, temporary situations. Situations that are changing little by little, okay? Let's follow with other examples. Then you have habits or things we do regularly. I drink coffee every morning. I get up at seven every morning. Uh, I don't smoke. Yeah, I drink a lot, right? I don't eat meat. So all those things are habits or facts, right? Temporary or new habits. For example, I'm drinking too much coffee these days because I'm so busy at work. Now, for example, we are a little bit nervous with this, with all this thing of the coronavirus. And I can say, for example, uh, you know, I'm smoking so much now, but it's not permanent, it's for this moment, okay? So I use present continuous. And this one is very important, annoying habits. And these annoying habits you usually, you generally, use always. For example, my flatmate is always leaving the kitchen in a mess. That annoys me. It's a, it's a pain. So in order to uh, emphasize that, I use the present continuous, but with always. Let's see, for example, um, think about for one minute that one thing that annoys you from someone that lives with you or that is close to you all the time. Yeah, for example, I'm going to give you one example. Uh, I'm going to create an example. You know, uh, I hate this, but my, uh, my friend George is always sipping the soup when we are eating. I hate that. It annoys me. It bothers me. So I can use this expression. So he is always sipping the soup, right? Now, I want you to think about in one specific thing
thing that annoys you in which you can use this expression, okay? Think for one minute. Ready? Mariana, Ponce, give me, give me your example. Okay, um, it annoys me when uh, my sister screams a lot. That is correct, but it's not what I'm asking you to do. No. You have to use this expression, always plus ing. Present continuous, uh, always. My sister always is screaming. My sister is always. Is always screaming. Yeah. And that annoys me. Right, perfect. Okay, uh, let's see uh, Soledad. No. <laughs> Give me one example. Uh, Something that annoys you. Using be or oh, continuous with always. My brother. Um, it's always um, running around the house. All right, okay. Uh, let's see, Diare. What about you, Diare? Diare, are you there? Diare? We lost her. Teacher? Okay. Yes. What is flatmate? Flatmate is flatmate. the person who lives with you in your flat, in your apartment. Okay. Mate is your friend. Uh, okay. Teacher, uh, it yes? says that she's there, but her computer is turned off. Yeah, okay. So, Valentina Vallejos, then. <laughs> Give me your example. <laughs> uh, what, what, what I had to do? <laughs> One sentence with B, um, present continuous with always something that annoys you. Um, my sister is, no, my sister is, uh, my sister is always uh, sketching something in the wall. Uh, my sister is always what? Sketching, drawing, drawing, sketching. Ah, drawing things on the wall. Yes. All right, that's pretty bad. Okay, let's see uh, uh, Juan Pablo. Uh, the dogs are always are screaming at the night. Yeah, the dogs are always. Are always screaming. Barking, you say, barking. The dogs don't cry or don't scream, they bark. Right. Yeah. So the dog, the dogs are always screaming. Ah, uh, sorry, <laughs> barking at night. Okay. Let's see. Uh, um, let's see. Alejandra Olea. Alejandra. Alejandra. Ahora sí. Yeah. Okay. Ahora sí. Yeah. My son is always screaming when he is watching TV. Yeah, he's always screaming when he's watching TV. Okay, see, so we are comparing present simple with present continuous. One of the examples of present continuous, this is new for you, okay? To express your annoyment or your, uh, to express something doesn't like you by using this expression. Someone is always doing something that uh, bothers me. Okay, then, you have another one that is, for example, future events, simple present. Future events which are part of a timetable. My plane leaves at eight tonight. Present. What would be the translation for this? Mi avión se va o sale a las ocho. In that case, you have to use the present simple. Mariana, for example, how do you say then, eh, la, clase de la clase de inglés empieza a las once, no, a las doce el miércoles. La clase de inglés empieza a las 12 el miércoles. Um, my class starts at 12, the Wednesday? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, sorry. Uh, English class start at 1, at, at 12 on Wednesday. Okay? 12. So when you have a schedule, a, a timetable, you have to use the simple present. Yeah? Okay. 
although the idea is for the future, but you use the present. Another thing is to talk about the future of after certain words. You talk about the future, but after certain words, these words, when, until, after, before, or as soon as, you use the present, the simple present. For example, I'll call you when I get home. You can say, I'll call you as soon as I get home. I'll call you after I get home. Yeah. All right. Uh, I invite you for a drink as soon as this pandemic finishes. Yeah. So that's the idea. Now, you can use present continuous for a definite future plans. Definite. You already agree with someone else. So in here you use the present continuous. For example, I am meeting John after class today. I'm going to explain this because look at uh, look at me. En la, aquí estamos usando el futuro, o sea, con el presente con idea futuro. Porque ahí dice I am meeting John after class today. Me estoy juntando con John después de la clase de día, pero uno no dice me estoy juntando. Me junto o me voy a juntar. Y tú puedes usar el presente, a pesar de que este presente continuo, lo puedes usar con idea de futuro. Pero uses el presente continuo cuando hay un arreglo de por medio. Porque John lo sabe y tú lo sabes. So there is an arrangement in there. Yeah? For example, I can say, um, we are playing tennis tomorrow morning with Peter. We're playing tennis. No es que estemos jugando ahora, como en el caso anterior sino que estamos jugando o vamos a jugar mañana. Pero porque hay un arreglo, yo uso el present continuous. ¿Se fijan? Estas dos partes que están acá, estas dos partes, estas son ideas de futuro. Mi avión se va a las 8 esta noche. Futuro. Pero puedes usar el presente. Me junto con John después de la clase hoy día. Futuro. Después de la clase. Pero usar el presente. ¿Se fijan? So, that is the idea. Okay, and the final part is to talk about what happens in books, plays, or films. For example, at the end of the book, the detective catches the killer. Right? So when you are telling a story, when you're telling a, a movie or something like that, you can use the present, although the thing is future. Okay? At the end of the book, the detective catches the killer. Or also, to talk about people in the pictures and photos. In this photo, my mother is walking beside a lake. A lake. See? I don't have any picture in here that easy to show you, but I have my mother here. Look at my mother. Can you see her? Yes. Can you see her or not? Yes. Yes? She was pretty. She said now, but she was pretty. She was beautiful, right? But I can see that in here, she's looking up and thinking about a problem that we had at that moment. Yeah, at that moment, many years ago, right? But so when I'm describing a picture or something like that, norm normally I use the present continuous. Okay, to make a review of everything in here so this article is in google classroom so you can use it and read it again okay so present simple things which are always true water boils at 100 degrees permanent situations julie lives in london habits or things we do regularly i drink coffee every morning future events which are part of a timetable my plane leaves at 8 tonight. Future uh, sentences after when, before, after, as soon as. I'll call you when I get home. And to talk about what happens in books, plays, and films. At the end of the book, the detective catches the killer. See? All right? Peter, now, yes? Um, to the present simple, the verb is always on... Infinity form? Yeah. 
Ah, okay. The verb in the present simple, you have to use the verb in the infinitive with an S in case of the third person singular, in the case of, yes. of the third person singular, you make the negative with don't or doesn't, and you ask a question with do or does. Okay. okay. That is for present simple. Now, what happens with present continuous? When ING to form? It? When to use it? ING form? Yeah. But when to, first, when to use it? Things which are happening at the moment, moment of speaking. The water is boiling. Temporary situation. Julie is living in Paris for a few months. Mm -hmm. Situations where, which are slowly changing. I'm getting better and better. Yeah. Temporary or new habits. I'm drinking too much. Yeah, it's not permanent. It's temporary. I'm drinking too much these days. Uh, to talk about annoying things or annoying habits from other people. My flat, flatmate is always leaving the kitchen in a mess. Definite future, future plans. I'm meeting John after class today. And to talk about people in pictures and photos. They are reading, they are, they are, they are smoking, whatever. Okay? Okay. And the present continuous is B, Camila, B plus ING. B yes. plus ING. And the negative, you use it with B. For example, I'm not doing, they're not, we are not, she's not, etc. And questions, you change the order. You don't use do or does. You change the order. Are you reading? Are you smoking? Etc. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. So, any question so far? Yeah. Uh, now, so, um, I'm going to go back to the... Uh, to the Google Classroom, in here I have an exercise that we can do right now. This one. You have it in your Google Classroom. Yeah? This is it. Profe, yes? yo no, aún no me envían la invitación para entrar al Google Classroom. Yeah. Así que eso. Who's talking? La Valentina Rojas. Valentina. Sí. Ok. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to invite you, right? Sí, sí, solo okay. la visa. Ok. So, here you have an exercise. I'm going to show you for a minute and try to write or make the exercise. And then I'm going to ask you. Yeah. There you have. Let, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Until nine. And then you can repeat it at home if you want to. But right now, let's do it right now. I'm going to say a, a, a person, and that person gives me the answer. All right? You have to choose whether to use present continuous or present simple. Okay. Yeah, time, because we have little time. Kimberly, the first one. Andy sometimes reads comics. All right, and he sometimes reads comics. That's right, Angelica Ovalle, number two. Angelica? Angelica Ovalle is not in this class. Angelica Ovalle, yes, she is in this class. No, he is in a video call. <laughs> he ah, was yeah, in the right. last class. Yeah, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's see, um, Valeria Roman, number two. Valeria? Valeria? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, we never watch TV in the morning. Yeah, okay, Valentina, number three. Valentina Rojas. Listen, Sandy uh, is singing in the bathroom. Good, good. Uh, Christian Videla, number four. 
My sister usually helps in the kitchen. My sister no. usually helps in the kitchen. That's right. Uh, let's see. Mm, Luciano, number five. My mother is making breakfast now. That's right. Number six, Valentina. Valentina Vallejos. Um, cleaning the bathroom. They often clean the bathroom. They often clean the bathroom. That's right. Uh, Crystal. Number seven. Look, the boys are coming home. The books are the boys are coming home. That's right. Uh, let's see the other. Number eight. Every day his grandfather goes for a walk. Good. And finally, 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 um, Nicolás Parada. Um, I chat with my friend at the moment. Ah, uh -uh. I am. Ah. B plus ing. I am. I am ch uh, chatting, chatting, chatting with my friend at the moment. Good, perfect. So that's the idea. So now you can go into the Google Classroom at home and do the other exercises because you have lots of exercises here. All right. Okay. And now we are going to do the next thing, uh, which, which appears in the book. Let's go. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Uh, this is the most important part of the class. <clears throat> yeah. In here, First of all, uh, wait, wait for me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, for homework, you are going to do this exercise, which is the same thing, differences between present simple and present continuous. But now we're going to work with this part, which is very important, stated verbs. Stative verbs. What are stative verbs? Do you know? Have you heard anything about that in your life? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to read. It says here, we use stative verbs to talk about states here, to talk about states. These verbs are not normally used in the continuous form. Some verbs, for example, love, can have both both stative and dynamic meanings. For example, Genus loves clothes, or Genus is loving her new job. Okay, let me explain a little bit about this thing. Stative, you have two types of verbs, stative, stative verbs and dynamic verbs. For example, play is a dynamic verb. You can say, I play soccer every Sunday with my friends, or you can say, I am playing <clears throat> video games at this moment. That is to say, you can use this verb play with a simple form like present simple or with a continuous form like, like present continuous. I play, teacher, I am playing, please. right? <laughs> but there are some verbs which are always stated verbs and you can't use them with ing form. Okay? Valentina. Vallejos. Are you there, Valentina? Valentina? Yes. yes. Uh, are you dating uh, Christian at this moment? No por meterme la vida de nadie, just to talk, right? Yes. Uh, are you dating him or not? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So, you love him? <laughs> yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. So, he loves you, right? But <laughs> you can't say, for example, I am loving Christian today and I am hating him tomorrow, right? It can't be that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, it's impossible because this, uh, this is a state. You are in love with the person. You don't change that very soon. 
It's the same thing that in Spanish, for example, you can say, you can't say, te estoy llamando, y mañana, te estoy llamando de hoy día y mañana te voy a odiarte, ¿ya? No pueden decir eso ustedes, you can't say that, ¿ya? O amas o odias. So, that is a state verb. The same thing, for example, I have a car. Tengo un auto. No estoy teniendo un auto. O si yo estoy teniendo un auto hoy día. Yeah? See the difference between a dynamic verb and a state verb or a stated verbs. The dynamic verb is the one that you can use with simple present or with a state, but also with a dynamic situation. That is to say, with continuous forms. While the stated verb can be used only or mainly with state situations, with simple present. Okay? In here, you have some stated verbs in this part of the book. Complete the table with these stated verbs. Can you add more? You have belong, need, contain, sound, know, suppose, love, taste, mean, understand. Yeah? Profe, ¿dónde está leyendo? Que a nosotros nos aparece lo mismo ejercicio que estábamos haciendo. Iba a preguntar sí. lo mismo, pero no me Sí, porque creo que... No, es que no se ve lo que usted está viendo, está como pegado en lo anterior, en los ejercicios que habíamos hecho. Entonces, ¿no? ¿Nos perdimos? Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Ya. Sorry. Ok, here you have. Here you have. ¿Sí? Here you have some verbs, like, for example, belong, contain, know, love, mean, need. Those are steady verbs. ¿Ya? Yeah? Porque si, el primero que significa belong es pertenecer, right? Right? So, I can say, yo pertenezco. No, yo estoy perteneciendo. ¿Sí? The same as no, yo sé. No, yo estoy sabiendo. Etc. All these verbs are steady verbs okay let's see if you can add for example in here you have categories thoughts mental processes senses emotions and possession for example let's start by the senses you have here what other verb in here is considered a verb of sense taste here what other Look. Taste. Taste, sound. That's a sense. Ay. Sound. Sound. Very. Eyesight. Sound and taste. Those are senses. You taste the things, right? Now, what about emotions? You have want. What other word in there is an emotion? Love. Love. Love, okay. Me? No. Understand. Okay. Understand. No, I would say that that is... I think it's, it's a mental... Like... Person. Yeah. Need? Need. I need you. That is, you know, emotions. What about possessions? Have? Belong. 